Welcome back everybody. Today we will discuss a material science problem related to mechanical properties of metals, modulus of toughness. So the problem is the stress strain care for an elastic perfectly plastic material is shown. If the material modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal, the material modulus of toughness is meg in megapascal is most nearly. Okay, so basically when material is deformed, by external loading it will store energy internally throughout its volume energy is related to strains called strain energy now toughness is defined as the resistance to fracture of a material when stressed and the modulus of toughness basically represent the entire area under the stress strain diagram it indicates the strain energy density of the material just before it fractures that means it is associated with the ultimate strain now for um, an elastic perfectly plastic material there is the um, linear region and that is associated with the strain at the plastic limit now when stresses reaches the proportional limit the strain energy density is the modulus of resilience so this area in here is basically the modulus of resilience now in order for us to find the modulus of toughness we need that full area which is the modulus of resilience and that rectangle in here that means we need to know the strain and the plastic limit and we know that uh, before the proportional uh, limit of the stress strain curve the relationship between the stress and the strain um, is linear and the slope of this linear portion is the modulus of elasticity which is 200 gigapascal now, Hooke's law express the relation between elastic modulus, stress, and the strain. So basically, the stress equals the modulus of elasticity multiplied by the strain. And for the stress at the proportional limit, it equals to the modulus of elasticity multiplied by the strain of the proportional limit. That means the strain at the proportional limit equal to sigma plastic divided by the modulus of elasticity which is 300 megapascal divided by 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 megapascal this is to convert the modulus of elasticity from gigapascal to megapascal and this should be 0.0015 Five. So this is the strain at the proportional limit. Now, in order to find the material modulus of toughness, we need to evaluate area number one, which is the modulus of resilience, and the area number two for that rectangle. Okay, so for area one equals to one half the base multiplied by the height which equals to 0 0.5 0.225 And for area number two, basically it's the difference between the ultimate strain and the proportional limit strain. So 0 0.15 minus 0 0.0015 multiplied by the stress at the proportional limit, which is 300. And that is...
44.55. Now the modulus of toughness, basically it is area one plus area two. And that is 44.78 megapascals, which is C.